Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we will paint Lulu's head and the hairpins. Without further ado, let's get to painting. We will start the piece with Bogman's glow for the skin. Have two thin layers for best coverage. Next, we will use Cadian Flesh Tone in order to paint the epidermis. Using Abaddon Black, we will paint the hair. Keep in mind that there is another piece of the hair which also needs to be painted black. I will not demonstrate said piece as the process is straightforward. Corax White will be used to paint the sclera of her eye. Using a small brush and Abaddon Black, we shall paint the eyebrow and the eyelashes. In case you paint over the eye, reapply Corax White. The lips will be painted with Nakarov Night. Here is where I normally demonstrate how to paint the eyes. However, I do not have a clean footage of the process. Use Corn Red for the iris and Abaddon Black for the pupil. Making a one-to-one -one mix of Abaddon Black and German Grey we will do the highlights on Lulu's hair. Use a small brush and try to paint with its belly in order to get only the raised areas. This will leave the recesses with a pure black color. These are the results of our work so far, combined with the finished upper body. Having finished with the face, we will focus on the hair and the hair beads. We will start with the hair beads. I have used the following colors, Ariman Blue, Ogreen Camo and Demonet Hide. As always, the colors are just a suggestion, so feel free to deviate with your favorite colors. Time for the hairpins now. With Cantor Blue, we will paint the pins glow. For its main body, we shall use Retributor Armor. Next pin, with Cantor Blue, we will paint the center only. 
The main body of this hairpin will be painted with Ariman blue. Finally, we shall use Demonet High for the fun shaped part. Moving now to the third hairpin, Volopus Pink will be used to paint the rose petals. For this pin's body, we will use Abaddon Black. To the final hairpin now. Starting with German Grey, we shall paint the pin's body. Using Retributor Armor, we will paint the inside of the upper part, as well as the spheres that protrude from the hairpin. Finally, we will use Mango's Purple for the globe at the top. All colors used in this video are on your screen now. If you found this video entertaining or helpful, please leave a thumbs up. If you did not like it, please leave a comment explaining why. This was Miniature Ursus, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.